And I don't know how we can look at the possibility that during this recession, seven million more Americans will lose health insurance. You don't know who is going to be the next person to lose their jobs. And when you don't have a job, that health insurance that you had with the job goes away. More and more people are going to lose health insurance. That means that at this moment, Doc, 22 Thousands Americans die under the age of 55 for want of health insurance. That's more than get killed in Iraq in a year. That's more than we they get shot down in the streets of America's cities. 22,000. What about them? How can we as a church be silent? How can I, as a minister of the gospel, be silent? The church has to get involved. We can't sit idly by when things are going on. We are a crisis in the United States of America. And some of us are old enough to remember the crisis of the 60s, the 50s and the 60s, when in order to turn America around, we had to have the civil rights movement under the leadership of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., we're at the same place right now. And it was a church that decided to take to the streets. It was a church that stood up and decided that enough was enough under the inspiration of a little woman by the name of Rosa Parks. The church, the church found within herself the courage to do what politicians couldn't do. Now we have another moment in our history. The church has got to find the courage to minister to God's children. We've got to find the courage to stand up and to use and allow God to use us to meet the needs of the uninsured, those who have no health care. The church has got to be prepared to hold uh, the hearings right here in the city of Chicago, right here at Metropolitan Apostolic Community Church. We got to have a hearing on health care. We got to call this nation to the attention and we got to call CNN, ABC, NBC. Bring them out. It's time for the church to get busy.